How's it going y'all? In today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to get 3 new duffel bags. They come in 3 colors, purple, yellow, as well as green, in the new GTA Online The Chop Shop DLC. So let's get straight into it. In order to get these duffel bags, first of all you need to own the salvage yard business property. If you wanna know how to buy and also start this new business, I'll be providing the link in the description below. So inside of your salvage yard, you wanna be heading over to your computer right at the corner of the room, and there'll be 3 target vehicles that you can choose. Each target vehicle will give you a different duffel bag. I'm gonna tell you guys how to get them first and then I'll let you guys know how to save them right at the end of the video. So firstly to get the green duffel bag, you need to be choosing the Grotti Turismo or Maggio for the target vehicle, which is the blue sports car. Once you finish the scope out mission, you don't have to accept any planning or prep mission, you just have to go to free room and go to Simeon's car dealership and then accept this task here called the weapon stash. After you accepted the task, Jamal will call you and then he'll ask you to go to the nearest ammunition store to grab the green duffel bag. Once you've entered the ammunition store, you want to turn left and head over to the shooting range, you'll find a duffel bag there. Alright, for the yellow duffel bag, you need to be choosing the BF Wee Wheel as your target vehicle, which is this green car. Once you finish the scope out mission, you want to be doing this planning work here called Sabotage and Disguise. Jamal will ask you to go to a building called LSPA Office where you need to plant explosives and then you need to find the guard outfit laying on the shelf as shown on the screen right here. This will give you the yellow duffel bag. And finally, if you want the purple duffel bag, you need to choose the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire as a target vehicle, which is this red car. Once you finish your scope out mission, you don't have to accept any mission from the planning board. You just have to go north near the Sandy Shores Airport. Find the green bag icon on the minimap. You want to accept the LS Panic Outfits task. Jamal will call you and he'll ask you to go to the nearest a suburban clothing store and then you have to go there right behind the counter there'll be the purple duffel bag all right now i'm going to show you one of the methods to save the duffel bag you can find other methods in the video link in the description below in that video i'll be showing you guys how to transfer your duffel bag from one outfit to another so I'm going to show you how to save this purple bag here as an example. Once you're about to reach your salvage yard, you don't want to turn over the quest. You want to fly up using any flying vehicle and then jump over, open up your parachute and then you want to land on the yellow circle right in front of your salvage yard business. If done correctly, you should be able to see your character opening the door right after you land as shown on the screen right here. Then you spawn inside of your salvage yard with the word task complete. You just want to head outside of your salvage yard and then you want to go to the nearest ammunition store. And then interact with the vendor and then you want to go to the parachute section. Go to parachute bags and here you want to choose the Israel parachute bag. I'm not sure if it will work with the other parachute bag because from what I've seen before in the forums, people are using the Israeli bag. So once you got the bag, you want to equip the parachute bag and then you want to save this outfit in one of your safe slots. Alright, after that you want to get into your flying vehicle and head over to this PC Master, fly as high as you can and then just jump down and parachute down towards the PC Master. You need to land right in front of the counter and you want to quickly spam the right D-pad as soon as your character landed right in front of that mask or hat counter so you can open up the interaction for purchasing the hat or the mask. If done correctly, you should be able to save your outfit. Once your outfit is safe, simply back out from the menu and then you want to be equipping the outfit that you just saved. As you guys can see here, the duffel bag is successfully saved. And if you want to know how to transfer this duffel bag to another outfit, for example, I got this full purple outfit and the duffel bag will match match this outfit, I'm just going to transfer this duffel bag to this purple outfit which I've done it. Link in the description video if you guys want to find out more. So that's it for today's video, thank you so much for watching, if you find this video useful, be sure to hit the subscribe for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.